It's only fitting, perhaps, that among the first to check out the National Portrait Gallery's multi-million pound facelift, one of the most recognisable faces in Britain. After three years closed for a top-to-bottom refurbishment, its royal patron, the Princess of Wales, not only invited to look at one or two of its new acquisitions, but being shown the door, not figuratively, literally. It's jaw-dropping design by renowned artist Tracy Emin. Her 45 carved brass panels an attempt to represent every woman throughout time, counterbalancing the prominent male figures who for over a century have dominated the building's facade. It communicates a new message to our audiences and our visitors that this is a gallery for everyone, people of all backgrounds, ages and nationalities. Adding to the gallery's star-studded comeback and meet and greet for the princess with Sir Paul McCartney, not demonstrating his singing skills but his photography. Having unearthed these gems, images he thought he'd lost will be on show until the autumn, tracking his time in the Beatles just as the band were taking off. Grayson Perry among the stars, out for a special party celebrating the gallery's reopening. Its return coming at a time when images of individuals are now more abundant than at any other point in our history. It's a necessary institution because we're all fascinated by identity now. You know, we're riveted by it and the whole... And everybody's taking pictures of themselves and building their kind of online profile. And so a place like this, it will respond to that desire for everybody to be a unique individual. <laughs> the warm reaction to the gallery's grand return, proving there's more to portraiture than just a pretty face. Katie Spencer, Sky News.